You always sound like a boomer whenever you use back in my day in the sentence. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. You just feel old. But it is very different this time because, well, you can still play God of War 3 on your PS4 or PS5, the remastered version. So back when I was playing God of War 3 yesterday, I realized just how lame the Muscle Harm trials were in God of War Ragnarok. And I'm going to tell you why in the rest of the video. I would appreciate if you would drop a like and subscribe for, to keep up with more unnecessary takes on gaming and let's dive into the video. There is something I need to say first before I actually get to my point and I feel like it, it is needed because people always seem to misunderstand what you're trying to say and to just get mad for some reason. So I've been playing God of War for a while ever since the very first one on the PS2 and there is something nostalgic about that game and even though I followed when they decided to go with the full reboot in 2018 I just always felt like some things some things were missing but I'm not going to dive into all those things today no I'm just going to focus on the muscle harm trials and the challenge they offer again I'm not trying to diss the game it's just one take of one random person I'm not telling you that the game sucks or you should not play it or whatever like come on man <laughs> like just understand what I'm saying I'm going to focus on the challenge the Muscle Hunt Trials offer and how they could have made it better. Okay? I'm just making sure we are on the same wavelength here. Okay, right? This thing is going to get, get mad. Oh my god. <laughs> so, as I was saying before, yesterday I was casually playing God of War 3. And I was having a great time. I was getting demolished by the trials, by the challenges, but I was having a lot of fun trying to refine my skills and trying to get to the bottom of all those challenges. I was having fun. Then I looked back at the muscle harm trials and how there is something missing. The challenge and the fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. I only like one or two muscle harm trials. The one where you have to throw some orbs into um, like a portal or something. I think I like the idea, not so much the execution, but I, it, it is still fun. And I also like the fact that there is that one challenge where you like the enemies cannot take damage and you have to throw them over or you know destroy them very fast. I like that. Like again, it is a different approach to the challenges where you don't have to kill. I mean, you still have to kill enemies, but in a very particular way. I like that. What I don't like is that every single trial feel like the same. Like I. I think they, you have around, like, let, me, let me count, 9 to 6, you have like 15 challenges, 15 muscle harm trends, and, and, and I can I show you that every single one of them is basically kill enemies, every single one of them, shield breaker, you have to, to kill edits, but first you have to kill lesser enemies, survive, well you can just kill enemies until the, time, the timer eventually runs out. Um, what, 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 what else, uh, survive, I mean don't get hit, whatever, it's all about killing enemies okay let me show you something let me show you population control in god of war 3 so the goal is simple you just have to go in there and use one weapon to keep the population under a certain number and or, as you can see you are overwhelmed and you you can even you can't even keep track with how many enemies are there on the platform at, at any given point no you just have to keep going and try to think about a way to just kill them very fast and the best way is sometimes to just grab them and throw them over that like you have to think outside of the box and just mashing your way sometimes we don't get there we don't, we don't get you there and i like that now take a look at population control in ragnarok and how lame it is i gotta say you have like what three or four beats which are going to spawn and then the big one is going to come and then you kill the big one and that's it <laughs> that's it where, where, where is the control where is the population all i did was just use flame whiplash and boom everybody was dead what am i controlling what am i doing that's what i'm saying like the idea is there but the execution is so lame which is very concerning because you see how they went nuts with the voice acting nuts with the cutscenes nuts with the accessibility features and then they just ran out of budget for the trials what what what, what is happening and i swear to god they just recycled the same trial over and over and over again 15 times 
kill X amount of enemies in 15 different ways and that's it which is very again lame because then you go back to God of War 3 and then you, you go oh wow I get to do different things every single time like yeah you still have your generic kill enemies but it's a very it's a very different kill your enemies right sometimes I mean I'm going to go to tell you about two two where you actually have to think outside of the box the first one is where you have to get turned into stone by one beast right you have to be turned 10 times but the more you get turned the more enemies are going to spawn and you can let's say you get you get turned while you're in the air and you land boom you're dead because well stone just breaks upon hitting the ground makes sense right so you always have to be thinking okay what is the best way for me to get turned you don't even have to kill anybody that's the thing you don't have to kill anybody you just have to mine your space and once those trolls are going to spawn then you don't have to stay on the ledges because you're going to get pushed and die see diversity you don't have to kill anybody you're just having fun and you're actually being challenged the second challenge which actually made me sweat i swear to god that one made me sweat i sat there for a whole hour trying to, to just see how i could actually approach it you have to kill chimeras and whenever you kill one of them another is going to spawn and the goal is to have five chimeras on the f on the field at the same time now when i actually succeeded it was so close i had three seconds left I was sweating. I was like, come on, man. Perform the takedown faster. Like, come on, Kratos. Be f like, I was on the edge of my seat. Because there, you have to be mindful of your approach. Like, how am I going to do this? Do I perform a takedown? Do I perform, like, a, a QTE takedown? Or do I just kill them the, the normal way to save time? Like, it's, you're always thinking, what is the best class of actions? I never actually had to go through that thought process because I never felt challenged. And I think it actually is the reason why once you're done with the game, where well, there's nothing to do. The only reason why I still I still play is because I want to come out with builds I can use later in New Game Plus. But other I'm going to assume that people actually still play the trials because they are farming some resources maybe, or they just love the game so much that they still want something to do. But that's not enough. And I think having the ability to create some challenging trials would have gone a long way to keep people playing, playing a game they love and not have to wait for New Game Plus because even if, even if New Game Plus eventually drops, it's still going to be the same thing. And there's something else I don't understand, a design choice I do not comprehend, is the fact that enemies do not scale with your level in the trials. They will scale in the training grounds in Niflheim but they will not scale in the trials. I don't I, I don't understand why. Why is it that we're actually where I actually feel challenged? There are two levels above me, but in the in the most in the where I have infinite health in Niflheim, they will be at level eight. Why is that? Sometimes people ask me, wait, what difficulty are you playing on? Because I can see you just destroying people with one hit. I am playing and I've always played on the give, giving out of war difficulty. That said Always keep in mind that in the trials, enemies could, could, could be two levels above me, and that's, in, that's, that's, that's unfair for them, because then they just die, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, yeah, I would like them to do something about it. At the very least, make us, I'd just give us more challenge. I don't think they can, at this point, change the layout of the trials, but they can, at the very least, make it so that enemies can scale with our level giving us somewhat a tiny mini bit of challenge but it's not going to fix it because to the core the challenges are just they just lack imagination and when you compare them to the previous challenges where you just had to sometimes have to just survive and find different ways to kill enemies and just to survive trying to save time trying to do this it always felt like you were at the end of your seat just trying to make it but this time, if you if it wasn't for the builds, if it wasn't for the resources you have to farm, I don't think we'll be playing the challenge. I mean, the the trials, which is unfortunate, because you love the game. You love the game. You want to play it more, but you can't because it it is somewhat boring. You have nothing else to do but just grind. And people ask me also, what do I have? What do I have? Forty million hack silvers. Yeah, I'm just trying builds. Right, that's the only reason I've played way too many times, so I I think that I'm best suited to tell you just how lame I think the trials are. 
they just there's just something missing and i hope they can fix it they hope they can actually it because i want to play the game i want to keep coming back for more but i just can't because there's nothing for me i have all those builds and nothing to no not nobody to test those builds on because everybody just is like three or four levels below me so what, what's the point <laughs> what is the point so this was this was me giving you yet another unnecessary take and maybe some of you will share that opinion and some of you will just get mad because i just talk ill about the game they love blah blah, blah. anyway i'm Jisoo and i'm going to just go back and play some god of war 3 so yeah you should do that too it is an awesome game and it aged very well like fine wine bye bye don't forget to subscribe if you want to and drop a like so that we can get more people mad <laughs> And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.